real Ferrari. That is a fiberglass shell over top of a June buggy frame and a Volkswagen Beetle engine. The Back to the Future cars there, basically four models taking place in the year 2015. Oh. The Flintstones cars, the most eco-friendly on the lot, not powered by foot power, actually modified golf carts. We have custom fiberglass shell on the outside and a modified golf cart on the inside. The Fast and Furious cars there, not just meant to look gorgeous, but perform just as beautifully. The Wrangler that the kids fixed up in Jurassic World and the iconic gyrosphere. Never had glass on it, by the way. That was all added to CGI later on. Now take a good look at that tank we're passing on our left-hand side. That is not a real tank. That's made mainly of plywood. That allows the production crew to lift it, smash it, toss it, crush it, flip it, do whatever we want. And it's much, much easier, cheaper, and especially safer to do with a fake tank than it would be a real one. Any sounds or visuals of crunching metal, we can add in in post-production, that very last phase of filming to look like metal. The Mobile Lab is the same one you saw hanging precariously off of like Clint in the Lost World Jurassic Park. Again, that is the real Mobile Lab, only made of plywood, and the clip was that parking garage on the front lot. You can see the plywood peeling right off the back there. Now the dinosaurs are in their cages, they just wrapped filming Jurassic World. You guys want to get some good pictures? Oh, what? Oh, no. What is happening? I had no idea that was going to happen. Taking acting classes too. You guys got pumped, suckers! Uh, they're not in their cages, they're spinning on you. Don't worry, it's just acid. It'll be a nice chemical feel. You get off the tour later, your sister will see you and say, Oh my gosh, you're gonna be done, you're so much younger. It's a big tour with a big Ryan. Now, Jurassic Park's one of those movies that utilizes a ton of weather effects. I call them weather effects because we don't work our filming schedule around what the weatherman says might happen. We create our own weather. We're also Peru and Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Uh, and even in an episode of Community there as well. Now, we just entered Six Points, Texas, one of the oldest filming locations on our back lot. Here to tell you a little bit more is my buddy Jimmy. establishing shot of, say, uh, a helicopter view of Central Park. You put that right there in the middle. Right, like I said, I did have to get into that quiet zone, unfortunately, right back with his family. Uh, now, this is South Stage 50. That episode of Bones, you just saw that clip, was filmed right up here to the East Bay sign on your right-hand side. Just like Little Europe, we can change the stops on the signs to make it any...
Okay, I think the worst of it is over, as long as there's no whoa, 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 whoa. Water? <laughs> action-packed thriller, War of the World, starring Dakota Fanning and Tom Cruise. Now, I know what you're thinking, and the answer is yes. That is a real Boeing 747 airplane. It was purchased from an airplane graveyard for the low, low price of $60,000, which is a steal for a real Boeing 747. Nobody checked the shipping and handling, however. That was $200,000. So for just over a quarter of a million dollars, you two can have your very own chopped up airplane and place it wherever you want. Now keep in mind, they were setting up this entire set for about three months before filming. They were up here filming for about three days. The entire